Well, taking inspiration from the uh, <coughs> the video that uh, I clicked a light on YouTube, uh, decided to go up my neck and my own pipe bender. Probably straight away you're thinking, oh good, plastic wheels that won't last, but the the carabiner pulleys. And they're rated uh, to about 100 kilos. So, I think for doing just alloy, which is what I'm intending to use, 12 mil aluminium, one mil wall, I think it'll be all right. It's not by any means perfect, but it doesn't do bad. I've just uh, as a test piece, I'll just use done some uh, copper piping. It's a bit, a bit too wide for the pulley. Really, it doesn't sit snugly. Inside, I was afraid as it was under pressure, these these shoulders were flexing a bit, and I thought they might have, thought they might have snapped, but they didn't. They just flexed. So, and it's just bound. There you go. So, it's kind of action. And just tighten it a little bit and then go back again. The uh, the main pulley, it's an interference fit. Sam helped me out with that because these plastic pulleys are a funny bore diameter so I use some 15mm tubing. Uh, that Sam machine down a little bit to fit inside. And then uh, Tall mill bolts for the outside ones, and then some made this rod for the crank handle. And it's an interference fit inside, plus I've validated it as well just to make sure. So, so there you go. That's what my daughter's here. What are you up to? You gonna go back inside? It's raining. When you go back inside. One, two, three. Go on. Sorry for that. So I've uh, I'll never need an angle that tight. Just as a demonstration, that's what I've done anyway. I think it might struggle with steel tubing, but for alloy, which is what I'm the next project gonna be using a lot of, should be ideal. So there you go.